Search and rescue efforts underway in Louisiana after Hurricane Ida tore through the state. I spoke with a volunteer from South Carolina about how the American Red Cross is helping with cleanup. Dangerous and destructive. Hurricane Ida triggering trauma 16 years to the day after Hurricane Katrina. It's a tragic situation, but I, I think we don't know exactly how bad it is. We know what's bad, we just don't know how bad. The storm making landfall in the Gulf Coast of Louisiana as a Category 4. But still moving out, um, there hasn't really been time to go out and really assess the damage, but you know it's significant flooding, homes have been destroyed, power outages. Ben Williamson, who works for the Red Cross of South Carolina, says 20 volunteers from South Carolina are assessing the damage in the area. About seven or eight of those volunteers from the low country ready to work. The, the biggest thing I do is listen to people. Um, that's the really the biggest thing that, and most important thing I do. This is Jeff Rodiger's third year and 13th deployment outside of South Carolina. And his job as a mental health counselor is to help normalize how people are feeling. If they're in a shelter or the fact that they've just lost their home, the emotions and, and mental process that they're going to is normal. They're reacting the way they're supposed to react. Working behind the scenes or boots on the ground, there are many ways you can help. But the goal remains the same, to help those recover. To watch the stress just drain out of their face and see them relax and know that you know they're not the only ones going through this and there is hope um, for their recovery. For information on how you can become a volunteer, click below. In Mount Pleasant, Christina Lobo, Count On Two.